In this video, we will discuss the olfactory nerve. Olfactory nerve or the cranial nerve 1 is associated with the sense of smell and starts from the nose and ends into the primary and the secondary olfactory cortex. So this is a section of the nose which also shows the sinuses. This is the frontal sinus. This is the sphenoidal sinus. This is the palate and above lies the cribriform plate. So the olfactory pathway begins with the olfactory rootlets. Now these olfactory rootlets at their nasal end have the olfactory cells which pick up the smell and they continue posteriorly as the olfactory nerves. The olfactory nerves pass through the perforations in the cribriform plate and they enter into the olfactory bulb. The olfactory bulb lies on the superior part of the cribriform plate. The olfactory nerves enter the olfactory bulb and here they synapse with the mitral and the tufted cells. And the processes of the mitral and the tufted cells continue posteriorly as the olfactory tract. And this olfactory tract continues posteriorly and enters into the primary and the secondary olfactory cortex. So let's look at the section of a brain to understand the central portion of the olfactory pathway. On the top right corner of the screen, you will see a diagram of the brain. And if we cut the brain this point and look at it from below upwards, this is the current section that I'm drawing here. So this is the olfactory bulb. And the rest of the portion that I'm drawing here is the rest of the olfactory pathway. So here are the olfactory rootlets which enter into the olfactory bulb. And the olfactory bulb sends the olfactory tract which continues posteriorly. So this is the olfactory tract. Now the areas you are seeing here are the medial olfactory stria, the lateral olfactory stria and the area just posterior to them is the anterior perforated substance. And this area here forms the primary olfactory cortex. And the primary olfactory cortex is associated with the active perception of sense of smell. These neurons continue posteriorly and they enter into an area known as the entorhinal area. And the area just medial to it is the uncus. And these two areas form the secondary olfactory cortex. The secondary olfactory cortex is associated with functions like memory and emotions associated with the sense of smell. So this was a short description of the olfactory nerve and the olfactory pathway. Also if you want to see more videos on the cranial nerves and other topics, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below.